Select kitchen items for living local provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Welcome back to the Skit and Dent Kitchen. A few weeks ago, we made peanut butter dog treats to take over to the animal shelter. And ever since then, somebody has been asking for peanut butter cookies. We need peanut butter human treats as well. Okay, so we have got you covered today. We are just using a classic recipe that I'm sure most folks grew up with. Um, for this recipe, you're going to need one cup of butter, unsalted or salted. Peanut butter, one cup of that. You can do crunchy or smooth. One cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, two eggs, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. That's a lot of things you're putting me to work That's today. A lot of things Let's you're going to work today. You want a cookie? This is how it goes. Got to earn it. All right, I need one cup of brown sugar. Okay. And I'm going to need one cup of white sugar as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start scraping the peanut butter into the jar. So what we're going to do, we are going to start by creaming all of our butters and sugars and good stuff together. As a matter of fact, I have another job for you in just a second. Uh oh. Yes, that's it. I have a it. feeling they're going to keep coming. They are. You're such a good helper, though. I really appreciate having you in the kitchen. That's all I know how to do in the kitchen. <laughs> just just help a helper. Me. Okay, so if you will do this, do me this favor. I need you to go to the microwave and get the butter out of there. Okay. And then I went ahead and um, softened earlier. I'm going to go ahead and add our sugar in here. So we've got one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar. We've got some butter that we've softened, which is two sticks. We're going to go ahead and add that in there. You'll close those things up. Fantastic assistant you. So peanut butter cookies, they're one of your favorites, huh? I love peanut butter cookies. You just like oh, peanut butter. Oh, yeah, peanut butter is just my favorite. You can't go wrong with some peanut butter. Okay, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to go ahead and scrape this off and start creaming these together. You know we like our messy projects. So... While I'm doing this, we're going to need two eggs. Two eggs. Uh-huh. Let me mix it up just a little bit more. I feel like you're about to throw those at me. That's what we it looks like. Eggs, so I could throw <laughs> no, that's not what we're trying to do today. I joke about the messy project. That's not what we're after. All right, so we're putting all of the butter and sugar and peanut butter in together. Starting to look like that. You smell it too, can't you? It smells really good. All right, so we're just going to turn it up just a little bit. Go ahead and clean it together some more. Okay, now you can crack an egg in there. No eggshells, please. Just the egg. Okay, one. one. Here's your bowl for your eggshells. There you go. And then I'm going to need another one. I won't get you with the mixer. <laughs> I might be dancing back there. Thank you. All right. The eggshells in there. And you're going to blend the eggs in. Whoop, there we go. All right. Are you a big peanut butter cookies fan? I love peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter cookies. Who doesn't love peanut butter cookies? Okay. So I need two and a quarter cups of flour. Two and a quarter flour? Mm hmm. I'm going to go ahead and pick these out. Try and knock some of the batter off of there. Because I just have a feeling you don't want to waste any of the peanut butter goodness. All right. Uh, ready? Yep. So give me some of that. Give me another one. And I need a quarter cup. And then over here in a little dish, we've already got our salt and our baking soda and baking powder in here. So we're just going to go ahead and blend all that in. And then start to fold it in. But while we're doing this, Josh, through the magic of TV, because once you've blended everything, you Voila. need to let it chill in the fridge for an hour. Okay. So we have a smaller batch that we've gone ahead and let chill. So while I'm stirring, you're going to pinch out just a little ball of dough. Just well, a little bit? Yeah. Or however big you want your cookies to be. That big? Yeah, that'll work. And that'll work? Roll it into a ball. And then you are going to put them on your baking sheet. If you want to scoot your baking sheet up over here so everybody can see the wonderful Look job you're doing, Josh. You're going to do that. Oh, I'm doing this. You're doing a great job. Doing this right? You are. Doing a good job. Okay, well, you might want to space them out just a little bit more. You're doing an okay job. I take that. So, yeah, that's all we're going for here. No, you're doing a wonderful job. Doing fantastic. It's going to be a large peanut butter cookie. That's a big Josh <laughs> peanut butter cookie. Well, I know that we're sitting over here while I'm trying to blend all of this together. 
What's the weather going to look like? You want to talk about this weather? Is it going to be fantastic you this weekend? This weekend's going to be great, especially tonight. If you have some outdoor plans this evening, maybe just dinner on the patio or grilling in the backyard. Perfect weather tonight. We'll be in the 60s after sunset. Uh, nice day tomorrow. You'll feel a little more humidity on Saturday. It's no big deal. We can, we can handle that. And then as we head into Sunday, still think it will be dry in most areas through about 3 or 4 p.m., but it is possible we could start to pick up uh, maybe a little bit of rain by Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. And rain is the story all of next week. So if you want some more particulars, on that, and uh, again, if you live on the lakes and rivers, just kind of keep an eye on it. You can head over to arkeltechshomepage.com. Good deal. Well, before we go, I want to show you what we got this pork out for. So, with your peanut butter cookies, you know, when you get them, they have that great crisscross pattern. That's how you do it? That's how you do it. That's how okay. easy it is. So, you're going to stick these in an oven that you preheated to 350 degrees. It would be about eight or ten minutes, and then you are going to have some delicious cookies. But have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you again on Monday for Loving Living Local. Loving Living Local, it's so easy.